We will keep our eyes open. Now here on the forest, the animals are very good at one thing, and that is hiding. But it looks like there's one that's not in hiding. It's a very large brown animal with black and white pants on off to your right. That's an okapi. Okapis are very shy and reclusive animals. Please stay seated. Please stay seated. They weren't discovered until 1901, and thanks to those stripes on their legs, many people think that they're related to zebras, but they're actually the closest relative to giraffes. So we're going to make our way over into the watering hole. This is a gathering place for many of the animals here in Africa. I do see some yellow billed stork out there. Those are the white birds with the black tips on their feathers. They're carnivorous birds that like to eat fish, lizards, frogs, snakes, and even other small birds. It looks like way up on the hillside, there's a black rhino up there. It's kind of hard to see. I thought I saw another one up there. The black rhinos weigh about 3,000 pounds. They can charge up to 35 miles per hour, and they are practically indestructible with their one-inch thick hide. It's way in the back, kind of blends in with the rocks back there. Now I said they're practically indestructible. They're not completely indestructible, though, thanks to their only known predator, which is man. Humans have poached those creatures nearly to extinction. There's just under 5,000 of them left in the wild. Now, I will be making stops throughout the reserve, just like that one back there. These stops are going to be for five seconds each, just enough time for one or two photos. I can't stop for every animal, but I will try my hardest to give you folks the best photo opportunity that I can. And as you notice, we are moving through the reserve at a fairly quick pace, so you're going to want to put your cameras on a sport or action setting, and don't hesitate taking your photos. We are going to be moving really quickly through the reserve. Looks like there's some saddle-built stork off to the left in the bushes. Saddle-built stork are those black and white birds. They stand five feet tall and have a wingspan of eight to nine feet. That's just about as wide as our truck here. Thank you. Now if you look above you, there is an animal spotting guide. This will help you folks identify some of the animals you might see out here on our safari. I will try my best to identify what I can, but I do have to keep my eyes on the road, and it's possible I might miss something. So if that happens, just let me know. It looks like we're going to be leaving the forest, and we're going to make our way over into the river. The river is going to be our best chance to find some hippos. Do you folks want to see some hippos? Yeah? Okay, let's see if we can find some. Now, the hippos do start around 85 pounds. I say they start out that way because a full grown male hippo will eventually tip the scales at about 5,000 pounds. If you see any off to the right, this is a very shallow and small area of the river. It does widen a bit, and oh, I see a bunch more over here. Now, those hippos do spend most of their day in the water. Please stay seated. They do this to keep from overheating. It's really hot out here in Africa. And those hippos will eat about 150 pounds of grass every single night. And that's just one of those hippos. The gray and white birds on the island, they are pinkback pelicans. Those pinkback pelicans live in colonies and they'll work together to herd fish into the shallows so that way they can feed. It's a real team effort out there with them. Oh my gosh, there's nine crocodiles over here. So as you cross this bridge, everyone has to stay seated. Do not lift little ones so they can see because those nine crocodiles are 100% real and they're meat. They are much larger and much more aggressive than American alligators. They have a bite pressure of 1,200 pounds per square inch, meaning anything that falls out of our truck will be quickly crushed in. Well, it'll be turned into mush. So, um, let's get a flavor from them. Simba One, come in. Oh, hey, Wilson, this is Simba One. What's happening out there? Just wanted to let you know that my ground patrol has seen a lot of elephant activity near the red clay pit. You definitely want to check out that area. Ooh, I want to see some elephants, so we'll head over there. But first we need to go through the savanna. The savanna is a completely different ecosystem with completely different animals. Speaking of different, see this upside down looking tree to our right? Now that's a baobab tree. Those trees do stay leafless for most of the year, about nine months. During that time, they're going to be saving up water to survive the droughts. We'll sometimes get out here in Africa. Wow, look at this view, isn't it amazing? Now the Serengeti grasslands here are used as a super highway for many of the migrating animals. It's also home to some of the most famous animals, like lions and elephants. And this is part of the wild Africa.